Backend engineering refers to server-side engineering. It focuses on databases, scripting, and website architecture. It contains behind-the-scene activities that occur when performing any action on a website. Code written by backend engineers helps browsers to communicate with database information. So, hello everyone. This is Kirby from Edureka. And in today's session, we will discuss how to become a backend engineer. But before we go ahead, if you like our video, please do not forget to subscribe the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon to never miss an update from us. Also, if you are looking for an online training certification, please check out the link given in the description box below. So, without any further delay, let's discuss our today's agenda. Firstly, we will discuss why we should become a backend engineer. Then, we will discuss who is a backend engineer. We will have a look at the backend engineering skills. And finally, we will discuss how to become a backend engineer. Firstly, let us have a look at why become a backend engineer. Backend engineering is a very in demand profession. To give you an idea of it, let's have a look at the job opportunities for backend engineers. Now, in India, there are more than 5,000 vacant jobs for backend engineers. While in the US, there are more than 7,000 vacant jobs for backend engineers. This is based on the data available on Glassdoor. That's quite a large number of jobs. In Bangalore alone, which is also known as the Silicon Valley of India, there are more than 2,000 jobs for backend engineers. While in California, which is the Silicon Valley of the world, there are more than 2,000 vacant jobs. This data is again based on the data available on Glassdoor. So there are a large number of jobs available for backend engineers and are going to be so in the near future as well. Now let's have a look at the salaries for a backend engineer. In India, a backend engineer on an average makes around rupees 9 lakh per year. While in US, the average salary of a backend engineer is $1 million per year. This data is again based on Glassdoor. So the salaries are pretty decent as well. Now you understand, backend engineering has a very good scope both in terms of the number of jobs available as well as the salaries. But backend engineering forms the basis of any software application. Almost all the major companies around the world are hiring backend engineers. Let's have a look at some of the big companies hiring backend engineers. They include Paytm, IBM, Accenture, Cognizant, TCS, Airtel, Delivery, T12, and many more. Now let us discuss who is a backend engineer. A backend engineer is responsible for designing, building, and maintaining the server side of web application. A backend engineer's primary responsibility is to build the structure of a web application. This means that one of the primary job of a backend engineer in a software development team is to write business logic for the scripts and APIs that will be later used by other developers and members of the team. Now let us see how a backend engineer can help an organization. He can troubleshoot and debug the applications, conduct UI tests and optimize performance. He can also help the organization by participating in the application lifecycle and developing sustainable web applications with perfect codes and he can also provide training and support to other team members. Now let us have a look at the roles and responsibilities of a backend engineer. As a backend engineer, you will have to regularly inspect server code for speed optimization. You will also conceptualize and implement solutions for data storage. You can also improve the quality of the team's code through writing unit tests and automation. Other than that, you may have to collaborate and work closely with product and design team to understand better end user requirements. Another major responsibility includes configuring the backend usability of all front side applications. Now, let us have a look at the skills required to become a backend engineer. According to the Lambda tests, a company hiring backend engineers do need the knowledge of programming languages like Python, Golang, and Node.js. Let's have a look at another company that is MNR Solutions, which is hiring senior backend engineers. Their job requirements include knowledge of Java, Spring, MySQL, and their experience in designing, implementing, and managing highly available cloud based systems on Java and related technologies. While other companies require proficiency in programming languages and knowledge of NoSQL, MongoDB database technologies, calcium data stores, queuing systems, and search technologies, proficiency in computer science fundamentals, including DSAs, and if 
it's also good to have Cassandra, Kafka, highly scalable and performant software systems knowledge as well. So you can see from these examples that knowledge of any programming languages and data structures as well as databases are one of the key skills required. The skills required to become a backend engineer include backend programming languages, data structures and algorithms, MongoDB and MySQL, Docker, knowledge of APIs, knowledge of web servers such as Apache, knowledge of backend framework and HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now let us discuss how to become a backend engineer. The roadmap to becoming a backend engineer includes firstly to gain a thorough understanding of data structures basics. This is very important. Then you should learn programming language, frameworks, databases and skills as discussed before. After that, you should gain hands-on experience by coding or working on some project. And lastly, it's a good idea to get certified in any programming language. Now we will see how to get started with this. So to get started with the learning process, you can take a look at the various videos on our Edureka YouTube channel. Even with no prior knowledge of backend engineering, just going through the videos can help you get a hold of the topic. We even have Edureka blogs where you can read up on the topics with ease. The blogs have decent information to get you familiar with the topic and help you have a clearer picture of it. These are completely free and can be accessed by anyone. But apart from these, we also have premium courses on backend engineering where you can get 24-hour support and lifetime access to the course content. So, you can learn at your own pace with live trainers who are extremely efficient and experienced in this field. There are certification courses which you can even add on your CV. We even have classes on Saturdays so you can work and parallelly upskill your knowledge for a better opportunity in the job market. So I'm sure this is going to help you decide on how you want to become a backend engineer. Now that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. Please like this video and share. And if you have any doubts, do ask them in the comment section below. That's it for today's session. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!